Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra from the Deep. When we last left off, we were about to assault this USO. Hopefully, hopefully things are going to go relatively well. We had everybody set up quite nicely. We've got this little kill zone up here. It looks... well... I don't want to say that this is clear, because obviously we can, we can never tell. Mm. Let's get some dudes over there. We've got H. H. Let's be quite aggressive. We need to move up, move up on this sub and see what we're see what we're working with. Powell, you're just a stun guy. Let's get you moving as well. You're out of TUs. That's fine. Um, you're a stun guy too. Let's just bum rush everybody up to this USA. What I am thinking about doing is maybe um, if I mean we're going to be doing an awful lot of missions, obviously. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe s cutting out a lot more stuff, like being more aggressive in some of these missions with my editing, just so there's not a lot of just aimless wandering around, so to speak. Okay, that looks kind of risky, but... We do have guys on Overwatch here. Two guys on Overwatch. That gives us three stun guys. Yes, yeah, so if anything moves, we should be able to lock it down. That should be fine. Ooh. <laughs> we have hostiles, of course. Right, let's get up. Come on, boys. Let's go in hard and heavy with these USO bastards. Oh, you can actually just about get there. Nice. Alright, H, I'm going to need you to lock this down. I don't want anybody to move. on the sub until we're all in position. I hate these things with a vengeance. I hate breaching these. There is actually a mod which I might get that allows us to use depth charges to breach these holes. Possibly thinking about doing... Oh, you got a... Can you... Oh, not enough to use. Um... Which might be a tactic that we look into a little bit later on. I've, hmm, I don't think there's much out here to be honest. We've got you. Oh yes, you're quite, quite the veteran. Definitely going to want you in this fight. I really want to get some stun weapons. They're not doing anything. H. What do you need to fire that? You need 24 to fire. Um, yeah. Let's get you over that side. 29. Duck. You've still got enough to let loose a bolt of hot justice into some fresh alien ass if it walks in through there. That's cool. Let's keep moving up. Pow. We're going to send in the stun squad first, I think. Because the stun squad are the rookies. They're the expendables. H and Elizabeth. Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel. You apparently got some. Uh, you've got a promotion under your belt. The way this game uh, promotes soldiers is a little bit funky, anyway. It's not always done by how much. Uh, experience you get or at least it seems that way because the game does have a habit of promoting people at random um right i want you to move up let's get first squad ready to breach we do have lights as well so we can light the sub up don't think there's much point so what have we got here? We've got heavy gorse cannons ready. 
We've got a jet harpoon cannon, which is, well, shit. But, you know, it's something. Oh, fuckers. They are literally waiting for us. They are waiting. <sighs> Let's get you exploring out here. Definitely getting the feeling that we're on our own. And that tank, when it moves, it's so freaking loud. Come on. Someone come out and greet us. Is there anything out here at all? Doesn't look like it. Which is interesting. Um, right. Okay. First squad. Ready to breach. Nothing. Nothing in there. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Does anyone have... Do you have some sonic pulses? Might throw one of those. Because here's the thing. There's almost always aliens around here. And I'm surprised that there's actually nothing out here. Nothing out here at all. That's ready to go. Oof, right. Should we get another sonic pulser ready as well? Let's do it. Primed. Okay. <laughs> Have to be so careful, guys. If either of those two die, Get rip squad. It's a freaking wrap. Yeah, okay, I'm not seeing like anything out here at all. I mean, maybe this way, but I think we're good, to be honest with you. Get you moved in. Okay. The reason I'm getting these guys moved in is because when we end turn, these doors will shut. If an alien comes around that corner and shoots one of these guys, they're rookies, so they're expendable. Apart from Emmanuel, I can't remember how well Emmanuel is. But that's going to take the alien out anyway. Dude. Get a nade round there. Move back. You're going to do the same. Yes, we're destroying potential... Ooh. Kill him. Kill him. Move. Now. Okay, we killed... Ooh, killed one. We lost... Who did we lose? That's acceptable. Another one down. Oh! The f fuck? That's savage. That's the hand-to-hand -hand, uh, melee weapon. Holy shit. Very savage bit of equipment right there. Okay. Okay. Now let's start getting people moved in. Let's get some people moving in with weapons. They are moving. They are moving. Who can you see? I don't know who you can see. I don't know what he's armed with. Oof. Oof. So we lost one guy. I don't know who we lost. But I'm pretty sure it's a rookie. This is why I like having rookies with stun weapons. 
Okay. But look at all the stuff we got. I don't... Oof. Emmanuel, not bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, he only had one kill, so he's only a seaman. That's fine. We can we can accept that. So with that, what did we actually come out of there with? We got some strange alien artifacts, and we're in the wrong thing. You fool! We've got so much aquaplastics. Don't need the learning arrays. We don't really need the mag. Magnetic navigation just yet. Don't need the Gilman corpses. Okay, we've got vibro blades. That's what that is. That is a close combat melee weapon. They're savage. They really are. Interesting. Okay. Zubite, we've got so much of that. That's really going to start eating into our... Um... space big time we're gonna possibly need some more storage don't need the pistols because we're not going to use them sonic blaster rifles definitely not getting rid of any of those sonic cannons yeah maybe get rid of a few of those right so we've just made a million sell sack fantastic general stores is actually under construction what where are we with our storage oh yeah yeah, that's... <sighs> oh, I actually gives you a breakdown. So 200 aqua plastics takes up almost 20 space, which actually is nothing. Okay. I always thought one unit of aqua plastics was one unit of storage, which would have been brutal, but that's fine. Uh, build facilities, so we need more living quarters. Definitely want. Ah, oh, it takes so long to build though. 25. I'm gonna get. Let's get two more living quarters. Hang on, what was that? What did I build? Hang on, what was that? Living quarters. Oh, right. Yeah, that was stupid. Because that's not connected to anything, it's going to take 25 days. I don't know if we dismantle it, if we'll get our money back. Probably not. But, you know, that's fine. That's why it's so long. I thought 25 days to build a living quarters. That seems a bit a bit out there. But that's fine. Particle disturbance sensors. Keep cracking them out. We've got space for one more person. So let's purchase and or recruit. Let's get another dude. What were we researching? Aquaplastic armor, which is almost done, by the way. Fantastic. This is good. Okay. Now we wait. View reports. This armor utilizes the newly discovered alien substance, aquaplastic, and ensures our aquanauts are given a fighting chance against the alien incursion. That is a lie. Um, this stuff is it's rubbish um, I mean we might as well have it because we're going to need it thermal shock launcher let's get on that we're going to need it um, because it's better than nothing but it's it's really not fantastic to be honest aquaplastic armor takes we've got so much aquaplastics we might as well start production i don't know how much if if we could actually sell this stuff as much of a profit no even aquaplastic armor which would probably like be the best armor humanity has ever seen um and it's still um <laughs> not that good so let's go for let's go for 15 suits of that go for 15 suits because inevitably we will need replacements it's only going to take six days 
that's fine. Okay, so at least we can get our dudes equipped. That's fine. And now we're just going to play the waiting game. You're going to see just how utterly nice, utterly ineffective aquaplastic armor is. A small thermal shock launcher which fires chemical freeze bombs, very useful for capturing live aliens. Yep, we are stun guys are now going to be armed with these puppies. These will allow us to stun enemies from afar. So we're going to allocate research new projects. We're going to go for... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Thermal shock bomb. There we go. Get everyone on that. Um, nice. Okay, so that's good. General stores is almost ready. Uh, we can get some aquanauts over here now. So we, what we want? Purchase recruit. We're gonna want ten aquanauts here. Yeah, maybe, yeah. We're going to want 10 Aquanauts to protect this base, but we might do that a little bit later on. What we do need to do is build facilities. And to start with, yeah, the labs and things are just out of our price range right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay good new production um, we want uh, you know what start production crack them out boys there we go okay cool yeah we're gonna need that money rolling in uh, construction of general stores good so what we can do now is we can transfer Let's transfer some of that Zubite. Uh, let's get at least 50 of it out of our storage. And also, let's get at least 50 of that. You know what? We'll transfer five units of armor as well. And then we can get five soldiers over there. For now. Um, a transfer. That's fine. Okay. Now that's going to really free up a little bit of space here, which is good. Okay. So that has all arrived. Go to base. Let's get... We'll give it a minute. General... Stores at XCOM 1. Okay, that's fine. We want lots of storage space. Right, we can now get, give it a little bit more, bases, start building our first lab. Um, build new base. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we need to get a radar over here as well. Um, build facilities. We're going to want, let's get a laboratory first. Ouch. That was expensive. Thermal shock. Nice. Okay, view reports. Thermal shock bomb is used for capturing live humans, but it can also be used against most alien races. It is fired from the thermal shock launcher. Aye. Okay. Allocate research. New project. So now we are going to research. Let's just go straight for the sonic cannon. Okay. Um, thermal shock bomb. Okay. Allocate manufacture. And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go for a new production. We want thermal shock bombs. They do require zerbite. Thought it did. So start production. Uh, it only, it doesn't require a lot. So let's go for 30 rounds. Okay. Okay. And let's take, say, 15 people off that. Doesn't really hurt production too much. Okay, cool. 
that will do. And now, oof. Oh, they're particularly happy. Hey, we did well. Maintenance, nice. That was a very positive month. So, what we're going to... Ooh. Yeah, we didn't really get any profit from that. Because we've got so many men. And our expenses are so high. But that's to be expected. This is why we're manufacturing and selling our own stuff. Oh, no. Okay. Kinda have to do this. Uh, these are like terror missions, these shipping route missions, but there's two layers to them, should we say. And or two stages to them. And they are fucking horrible. These shipping missions are one of the reasons I massively prefer the first game, but okay, let's get everyone decked out in their new aqua plastic armor. It's not going to do miracles, but it's better than nothing. Let's just say that, shall we? I hope we did manufacture enough suits for everyone. Yeah, we did. Look at some of these improvements. Yeah. Elizabeth is immense. Very nice. Diary? What's all this about? Oh, wow. Ha! Huh, this is really cool. Let's have a look at H. Okay. I quite like that. I never even realized this was a thing. Alien submarine assault. Missions by UFO. Days wounded. Okay, cool. I like it. That's a really freaking cool idea. Okay. Um, right. So what else? I don't know if we can take um, USOs on this. Or should I say, I don't know if we can take our tank. I have no idea. Um, but we are going to make sure we have as much as possible. Okay, and we do want... Thermal shock. We've got two of those bad boys. Only six rounds, though. Which ain't fantastic. These are horrible, horrible missions. And there's probably... going to be an awful lot of... Sitting around doing nothing. This is probably going to be a very heavily edited episode. So, Triton 1, Godspeed. Oh no, it's all the way over there. Please don't say this is going to be done at night as well. Oh no. Oh, it gets worse. Oh. Shit. Yeah, it's going to be a nighttime mission as well. <laughs> Savage. Okay. This mission is a bug hunt. Eliminate all of the alien units on the ship and preserve the lives of any civilians on board. The aliens are dispersed above and below decks. Secure the upper decks before entering the lower ones to quit. Yeah, you know the drill. I do like the look of Aquaplastic Armor. It looks cool. It does. Um, but... Oh, okay. Definitely going to take extra rounds. H... I might equip you with that. 
Or do we... Nah. You know what? We'll keep it to the stun squad. We don't have many of these. These are precious. The potential is here to capture some... Ah, you know what? I don't even know whether we should take this. I really don't. It's been years since I've done one of these missions. Well, I think we will. We'll get two members of the stun squad rocking these. I think that's just the way it's going to have to be done. Okay. Torpedo launcher is useless. The uh, sonic pulses as well, grenades, are sort of useless as well. Nobody has an excuse to be running around with a stun launcher. Stun launcher is just not where it's at on one of these missions. Um, y yeah. Uh, oof. Oofed. Not good. You know what? Gonna equip you with one of those. You are gonna have to. Yeah. Put the explosive rounds down. Basically. Because that is not what we're about on this mission. Okay. Definitely no explosive rounds for anybody. Okay. Now we've got this armor though, we do need to also think about bringing... Oh, she's got a lot of strength. We need to think about bringing... medkits. Because... In very rare occasions, if the moon's in the right place and the gods are smiling on us and Lady Luck is there and pigs are flying in the sky, you might survive. And of course, we cannot heal. I actually totally forgot about that. I was very under underprepared here, actually. Let's load you up. I think belt is quicker. It takes less TUs to reach for your belt. Okay. Got a bit of space. You really don't need that on this mission. You really don't. Okay. Oh no, you can we can take this. I mean <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no. We've got... Oh, guys. I don't think... Think fifty six to use. I don't th think we can hurt these. I yeah, lobster men. I don't think we can hurt them. Um. Um, 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 oh, okay. Right, aim shot. Not enough time units. Snapshots. Okay. I don't think any of us brought smoke, did we? Nope. No, we did not. Uh, 
hopefully, if anybody gets hit, you're going to take the fall. <laughs> so he's just taken a gas cannon round. And he's just taken uh, a heavy... Yeah, we're going to have to abort. There's no way. We, we can't do this. There's no way. That's if any of these guys survive. I can't watch. Oh my god. Oh no. We are not equipped for lobster men. Shit. Um. Um. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Oh, dude. I have no idea. Oh. Oh. And terror drones. You know, the beauty of XCOM... Really is to know when you're defeated. And we're defeated. Yeah, that would be a total and utter wipe if we stayed there. There's, we, yeah, there's no chance. Absolutely no chance in hell. Those missions are savage. We're still from a point standpoint. Point standpoint. We're still in the green. We we lost 350, which was unfortunate, but we're we're still well above. We only lose if we um drop down below I think it's five hundred points for two consecutive months. But we have bigger problems. We're now up against lobster men. This is bad. <sighs> it's officially time to say this game just got real. So anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, we've got lobster men to deal with. Oh my. Hmm. However, at least we are against lobster men and we have the thermal shock launcher, which means we now have the ability to get the better armor if we can just tough it out and be very selective with our battles. Oof. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time.